All right, guys, we finally got one of these Panzer M4 clones out for a video. And I think we should start out by deleting some watermelons from existence. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Here we go. We got some uh, slugs here. We're gonna run some federal law enforcement uh, low velocity slugs here. Yahtzee, sit down. <laughs> oh, give me a second. Wafting, wafting. I'm getting hints of watermelon, clovers, and lead. Ah, oh, hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for tuning back in. Eric here with Direct Veteran 8888. So at SHOT Show, we alluded to getting one of these Panzers out to do a video on, and uh, here we are. We have uh, the Panzer M4 clone. Now this is the one with the Turkish walnut furniture. And uh, oddly enough, Benelli now offers <laughs> wood furniture for the M4s because they saw Panzer doing such a great job uh, with these stocks, and I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous. Uh, really nice setup. And the cool thing about these Panzer M4 clones, y'all, this is a $500 shotgun, so you don't have to pay 2000 bucks for a Benelli anymore. Um, look, the patent is up on the Benellis, okay? You notice that there's been all the M2 clones that have been out for quite some time because the M2 is a much older shotgun. The M4 only recently had the uh, patent um, go up on it. And so now that opens up the door for all the clones and things like that. So these are produced uh, by Panzer in Turkey. Uh, they're very nice shotguns. I was actually very surprised. The fit and finish is quite good. Uh, it uses a custom Cerakote color uh, that they do on this particular one, a nice gray, okay? Disruptor gray, I think is what they call it. You got a Turkish walnut furniture. These guns will accept all Benelli M4 parts, magazine extensions, trigger groups, bolt handles, rails, whatever you can put on a Benelli, you can put on this. It is a one-for-one -one exact clone of an M4, but for $500, which is absolutely bonkers to me. When I pulled this gun out of the box, I was like, really, they went there? Yep, they did. They sure did. You do have a uh, rail that comes standard on this gun, so you can throw yourself a light on there if you want to, okay? Really cool stuff. I mean, wow. We're gonna shoot this thing a little bit. We're gonna run a variety of different ammunition. Uh, there in the intro, that was the tactical slugs. That's a 1,600 foot per second uh, 438 grain true ball rifled slug, okay? This uh, gun is threaded for chokes, has a variety of different chokes that come with the gun. I, th I think I saw three chokes in the box. Uh, this is a improved cylinder bore choke that is in this particular gun right now. You do have the standard diopter sights, exactly like the ones that come on the Benelli, like with full adjustment for windage and elevation. I mean, it uses the same inertia you know, type of system, the Argo system. Uh, that the regular M4 uses. Okay, so it's the same gas system. So you can put whatever amount of rails and accoutrements on this thing you want and you can't weigh it down enough to keep it from running. I mean, wow, let's run this thing. Okay. Now, um, this particular gun does not come with the full size uh, magazine tube. You notice that a lot of the Benelli's you get as well have this crushed mag tube. Uh, that's for import restrictions for 922R. Um, it's dumb, but it's one of the things that they have to do to get them in the country for import restrictions. So uh, Panzer has to deal with the same bull crap Benelli does, obviously. Uh, but you can put a plus, uh, plus extension on there. Right now, this gun holds uh, seven shells with the ghost load, but you can get the capacity out to nine rounds by putting a plus two on there and getting the capacity out to full capacity. So the M4 Benelli with the ghost load will hold uh, nine rounds, uh, which is, you know, a generous amount of capacity for a gun that only has an 18 and a half inch barrel. I mean, it's, it's definitely as full capacity as you possibly can get. Here we have some Fiocchi Defensive Dynamics Buckshot. This is a uh, 1,250 feet per second, nine pellet, high brass buckshot load, all right? So I'm gonna show you. We, uh, we put the rounds in the, uh, in the magazine tube, okay? And then we cheat the, uh, we cheat the bolt back and we drop one on the follower like that. And while the bolt is still cheated back, you go ahead and put one in the chamber, okay? And that gets you out to, this is seven shots. I'm gonna take out our poppers with buckshot. We'll see how this buckshot patterns, okay? 
Okay. Did not want to run that 1250. Let's try again. Okay. That ghost load didn't want to pop up. Let's try again. Now, uh, I really do like the walnut furniture that's on this particular gun. One thing that I want to make mention of, this gun is brand new out of the box. I have not even test fired it until right now. I wanted you guys to come along with me for the ride. I didn't want to go through and try to neuter any of the results or anything. I just, I wanted to run this thing fresh out the gate and I'm seeing, or you guys are seeing what I'm seeing right out the gate, okay? Let's, uh, let's try again with that ghost load. Now, one thing I want to mention, the nice thing about the Panzer M4 clones as well, just something I want to make mention of, is that they do have a 26 inch model that they're going to be coming out with. I don't know if it's available just yet, but at SHOT Show they had a 26 inch race gun with the full cap tube on it that they had put together. Now that particular gun is cool because now you have an M4 style gun that is set up as an actual 26 inch long race gun, which to my knowledge, Benelli does not make a tactical style or competition style 26 inch long race gun. So that's something that'll be available from Panzer, which is cool. Panzer also makes a variety of different bullpup shotguns. They have a, a Sega 12 clone that's, that's pretty cool and legit. They got a real bougie gold one, which is kind of neat. Um, but really what, I, what, what jumped out at me was the Woodstock Turkish Walnut M4 uh, with that gray disruptor style uh, uh, color. I, I just thought it was a really nice touch. They did a great job to kind of make it their own, which I can really appreciate that. All right, let's try to run some more of this Fiocchi Buckshot. All right. All right, got those out of there. Looking good, looking good. Let's run some more. Guys, we're gonna go through and just run the mess out of this thing and just see what's happening here. We'll go through and try some different varieties of ammo and we have some more slugs and buckshot to run through this particular gun today. Okay, all right, good stuff. Run through here and have some fun. Make short work of that. Okay, we'll move on to some different ammo here. We have some uh, three inch, now remember, these types of guns are chambered for three inch shells. So we have some three inch federal number four buckshot. This is 41 pellets of number four buckshot. So let's try and run some three inch shells through this bad boy. I tend to really lend uh, these shotguns to more of a defensive role. So, you know, if you use a bird shot of a reasonable, you know, that, that three inch shell barely clears. Let me see if maybe that might have, yeah, not gonna fit that, that, uh, that uh, fifth shell uh, in the actual uh, magazine tube. So you only can get six of the three inch shells in there. Okay, let's just try a box of these. That's the number four buckshot, okay? Let's give this stuff a try. This is gonna kick a little harder. Oh yeah. Woo, Nelly, that's a scatter gun right there. That, that, that definitely puts the heat on it. Um, definitely, uh, it's got some uh, freaking recoil for sure, okay? Uh, with those three inch shells. Okay, we've reset the range and now we're gonna take out, you guessed it, some cans of hominy. And this time we're gonna use our Berniki anti-terror slugs. These things are absolutely visceral. They dump a tremendous amount of energy into the target. And I think we're gonna see us Quite a show here. All right. Okay, our Turkish M4 from Panzer here versus some cans of hominy. A homina homina. This is gonna be amazing. All right, here we go. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Son. That thing came apart like the Death Star from Star Wars. It was like, literally looked like the Death Star exploding. <laughs> uh, 
I assure you we are quite safe. Think again, old man. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we have a few different varieties of buckshot ammo I'd like to try before we wrap things up. Gun's running quite good overall. Winchester Ranger buckshot. This is law enforcement ammunition. Well, guess what? We can, we can enforce the law too. We can enforce our own laws. Okay. We're going to ghost load this puppy. In theory, we're going to ghost load it. Might have got a little overzealous there. That's okay. All right, here's some uh, Winchester Ranger uh, buckshot ammo. Okay. Take out some targets here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow, I mean, I would say this is a viable option. All right, I got some 12 pellet um, buckshot here. Let's have a go with this stuff here. This is a two and three quarter. Well, that's some gnarly tape on that box, isn't it? Look at that. All right, this is some of that Italian uh, noble sport, but this is a, a high brass, uh, 12 pellet buckshot, so this is going to be a pretty heavy load. Just have some good carrying energy here. Now even though it says it's a two and three quarter, I swear that crimp looks a little proud. But we'll see. I got five in there. All right, got us a good, good ghost load. Okay. We'll see how this 12 pellet patterns. It's an improved cylinder choke that's in this gun. I forgot to mention earlier that this gun does have a full pick rail on top of the receiver, so you can mount all your optics and stuff too. But I've always liked the irons on these types of guns, so we want to run it with irons. Okay, here we go. Let's have some fun. 12 pellet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it would not be a shotgun video if we didn't knock down a piece of steel throughout the course of the day. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. We really wanted to try to put this little Panzer through its paces and give it a try, shoot it a bit here. Um, I'm quite impressed. I mean, it definitely has the vibe of, uh, of being well put together for the most part. I mean, for a gun that's $500, I think it's a winner. You know, if you are looking for a gun for home defense or something that's in the M4 vein and you don't have a lot of money to spend, this would be a viable option. Um, you know, time will tell as longevity, uh, you know, comes into play. I mean, that's something we don't really know at this point in time, but I am going to continue running it and uh, I'll let you know. Just make sure you follow me on Twitter. I will post a lot of information as I go on Twitter. You know, as I run this thing, if I run into any problems, I'll be sure to let you know. But so far, I think it's great. And uh, man, I, I think it's a fantastic deal on these guns for what you, what you pay for them. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for something in this vein, it might be something worth looking at. So uh, check them out, the Panzer Arms M4 Clone, okay? We'll also have a video coming up on the M2 Clone as well. Uh, but we may do something a little bit different with that one. But overall, I love the walnut furniture. I love the uh, kind of almost looks like a, a zinc phosphate finish, you know, in a way, even though it's Cerakote. I like it. I think they did a great job on appointing this particular gun. So thanks so much for watching. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.